Hey dudes and dads, and welcome to Let's Replay. So, it's been rumored that a Nintendo Direct was on its way. It's here now. It's a Direct Mini, and for some stupid reason I didn't get into actually watch any of Nintendo's sites to see if it actually was coming today. So I missed it by a little bit over two hours. I'm here now to watch it after it has been sent out, after it's been released. However, do know nothing about this, so uh, I'm really keen on getting into this. It's a mini, even though it's almost 30 minutes long. Quite interesting. We'll see where this leads. Uh, also, I don't know about you guys, I think a few people, or a lot of people, were a little bit unhappy with the latest Nintendo Direct, as it was only an indie world show, pre-show, whatever, showcase, I think it's called. Uh, nonetheless, I liked quite a few games that was presented there, so uh, I'm a little bit scared about there being a lot of things I like here too, because that's a lot of games for me to buy. Uh, nonetheless, good problem to have if that's the case. The fact that it's a mini though, kinda makes me feel like it may be not too much new and more related to DLC or games that have already been released. I quite don't know, I'm really keen on getting into this, let's do it together, really appreciate you guys being here for me. If you would like to help us grow just a little bit, feel free to like the video, let me know what you think about this in the comments, I don't know yet, I'll let you know after the video, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you really want to help me out. So without further ado, let's just get right into this, as said before, I've stayed away during these about two hours, so I know nothing of this here, however. We'll go. Please note, due to comment the release dates and other information presented in this video are subject to change. Yeah. I have a full understanding in regards to that. More than welcome to happen. I understand and respect the fact that it may have. Here we go! Cholio! I mean, I still don't know why. We'll see. What? Oh. Two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. So this looks great. The Titans were locked in a timeless battle. I do own it on Wii though. So last, I'm torn. Only their lifeless corpses remained. Because I haven't played through it. I kinda wish I did. Or that I didn't have this on Wii and could buy this instead. Huh? In the sky! This can't be! No way. Okay. It's a... Mechon! Commence it looks great. The assault on Vionis. The Monado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just... Unlock the Monado's power. It's my turn! Silk! No! It'll a lot of people love Silk. that sword. I can't believe how we can damage anyone with it though. Strange. Since it isn't sharp. It was as if I could see I don't into know. the future. <laughs> oh. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so it begins. Oh yeah. The resurrection of the Bionis. So I would guess a lot of people are about to learn who Shulk is from anything else than Smash. It isn't set. So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. As said though, it does look great. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. Oh, never. Doom. 29th of May, if nothing changes. Future connected? DLC or yet another game that's been teased before they even release it? The capital is on the shoulder. There are people there. I thought you'd want to go. 
So I quite like, or I love, I should say, the idea of the whole entire world being placed or put onto giant the robots. Of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. Yeah, I would imagine. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. Easy to read and easy to use. Oh yeah. And some of the music has been re-recorded. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. Bye bye. And a new epilogue, a new story. Future Connected will cap off the main game. So if you've played and loved we'll the original off. game, you can okay. not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. That's nice since it's a new version of the game. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th, and you can pre-purchase yeah. the game starting today. Also, coming today. on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. 250-page? Holy smokes. Hi everyone, and welcome Hi. to the Nintendo Direct Mini. Let's We've do it. on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. This now, year? Let's roll okay. Some headlines, shall we? Are we already Three gonna try? Three most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. I'm gonna try not to hype things up for their last release of this Direct then. So, Bioshock? Will that be a great excuse for me to play it for real for the first time? I played it for like 40 minutes at a friend's house. And that's it. I heard great things about it. Let me know down below if you guys are interested in seeing that. Borderlands we played with Dundas and Damon and Maria. Giving them shoutouts. Shoutouts to three of my most loyal followers on Twitch. Subscribers as well, actually. We had a good time doing that. I also got on the second one donated to me. And I would guess they would love us to keep on going on that as well. Explosions! So I quite like the presentation of this, actually. Two K loves Nintendo Switch. I do too. XCOM I know sort of nothing Eight about. Enemies face off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three: The Black Order Expansion Pass. Expansion Pass. I don't know the game though. I've this world too many times. You are no match for Doom's power. I've not played any of one of these. Would you let me know? Are they good? Richards. Fantastic Four. Boom, baby. Talk about a hot pursuit. Because they look quite interesting, but since we're not going down without a fight. I'm not the biggest nerd of any character in this game, sadly. I guess you could say I'm not in love with the franchises per se. I think I would have a great time with this like a week. I don't know. I could definitely be wrong. Shadow of Doom. Doom must become a god himself. Oh. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. Wow! You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea exploration game, you'll collect resources to upgrade hmm. your gear, craft items, and dive deeper into the abyss. Looks interesting. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shinsekai's Time Attack Mode Another Dive boasts a perilous maze for you to race through. 
culminating with the final monstrous threat. You know, oh it can be pretty heavy down there. So why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth cool. hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on Nintendo Switch today. Today. Go play it, guys. Go play it. Live free update. Island life thanks to this free update. Love this. Me and Sophie can't put it down. Enjoying Island Life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Well, whether you're already living it up on the island, or you're still planning your departure, there's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the oh. eggs? You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Oh. Can you hunt down the egg zipper head everywhere? Wait, eggs on the trees? What? what? You can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. The bunny oh, it's gonna be eggs once a year, everywhere. This time from April 1st to April 12th. So be sure to participate. So guess be, what? please be careful with eggs. Coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account. And other How too. So, am I supposed too. to put this game down? <laughs> but God, it's beautiful. Enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Thank you. I do almost too much as of now. Hey, look, someone's hiring. Oh, this is your dad's company. Apparently, they offer a wide range okay. of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. <laughs> You'll deliver items. I love the art style. The floor, and maintain a comfortable work environment. Ah, oh, don't give me more games. I have too many games. Operation oh, that's bad. Tasks. Ow. Uh-oh. That uh -oh. projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner... <laughs> Or opt for more creative Oh my solutions. god. Do what Whoa. you need to do to get the job done. I think I love this too. Ho whoa, 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 whoa. Holy smokes. Hopefully you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately. Ugh. Because good job launches today. Are you kidding me? Oh. Catherine, full body, the mature action adventure puzzler is coming to Nintendo Switch. Catherine? The next step in his relationship, commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Looks like oh. Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine, Catherine with a C, and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might be And we played this demise. on Steam. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weird. Otherwise, I would have gotten this too. Not for only is Vincent riddled with guilt oh, during this the day, console. he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive and see another day. Find out Guys, please, after this, after watching all of this, if you do, write all the games you're interested in in the comments. It should be enough. It should be a lot, I should say. update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. So, never try this. I don't know if I want to either. I told Sophie, if she wants it, we'll get it. Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. Okay. If you want to set a high score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm game. One from Mario Odyssey? From Super Mario Odyssey. Move. Splatoon 2. And The Legend oh. of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. God, I'm like a child of Christmas, of that, aren't I? I feel my power returning. Your companion Ring will now have a female voice option. Nicely done. Wow! And you'll also be able to change languages. So once more, never play this. Feel free to change it up oh. in the settings whenever you want. 
We're Never in Swedish, I wonder why. In both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling Ooh. mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. Very much coolio. Definitely very much coolio. Better open the gates. One treasured TRPG approaches. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. Never played either. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. I don't know, I think they're a little bit this too much for me. Will pit Tactical army against wise. army, sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your choices matter more than ever. And so does the terrain you stand yeah. on. The graphics so looks master, great, your but something like looks off, doesn't it? Just you are. I'm not complaining, uh, it's just Across a feeling I get. You'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 oh launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. In 2020. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate News approaches. Yes, let me know. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... <gasps> joining the battle from ARMS. Okay. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. Please stay tuned for just a bit longer. So, never paid arms. And released this June. I'm not mad about it. I don't care too much either. Don't but it's great getting a new... Trial. Great Free getting a new trial. Uh, will be available character. exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. These elite oh. fighting superstars share one thing in common. Extendable arms. So equip super-powered arms to create a slew of combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, hmm. let's get stretchy. Interesting. Feeling good? Well, all right. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2. Bravely Default 2. Uh, I haven't heard of it. Where am I? I can't believe I survived. Don't hate me for this, but I'm not sure. Okay. What I like so many of the art styles in the Water, games nowadays. Wind, earth, nature's masters. Look at it. Great stone's power exceeds the hand of man. Oh, and it's so beautiful. Bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. Our moderator Couch would love this, I'm sure. Let me know, pal. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. I have heard there was a sequel coming. I have heard the title before. Never looked into it though. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, Washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Hate when that happens. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. Gloria is quite a beautiful name. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. He also encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book, Elvis and Adele. I have a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. Okay. Do you say so? Guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. You see how this looks? There will be those who stand in their way. Oh. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage, becoming infinitely oh, no. more powerful in the process. <gasps> An infinitely powerful okay, thief, guys! Fire 
So, how's the combat? Turn based double gaze. During battle, yes. you must decide when to use Brave Points or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the Brave and Default commands. Choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Choose Default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. So, turn-based games like this have a hard time winning me over, actually. I wouldn't say I hate it, but I feel like it's easy for me to lose interest during battle. Still looks great, though. Jobs can be combined at will. Greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> I'll take that. Now for a little announcement. I mean, look at it. A demo version of the game will launch today. Today. And in the oh. near future, we'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. We hope you'll participate. It looks so good. The latest entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. This year, 2020. So for everyone stuck at home, you Let's guys have stuff to do. Even if you're not in love with Animal Crossing as I am. What classics? Let me know. <laughs> Clavos <sighs> Games Presenting every single game Included in this massive new collection Of fun from around the globe Menkala Hanafuda Backgammon Renegade Checkers Oh my god President Dominoes Speed Hare and Hounds Blackjack Four in a row <laughs> Shogi. So like every game ever. Richie Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine <sighs> Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War. Is Air all of these in one? Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Twenty Solitaire, nine thirty. Kumoku, matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, you... Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Are you... Solitaire. Toy tennis, toy soccer, toy curling. He's gonna stop at 50. Toy baseball, battle, boxing. team tanks, sliding puzzle, and six ball puzzle. Phew, that really is 51 games. And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people. Uh... And in some cases, online play is supported too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. So I usually say that I wanna play tabletop games all over. Tables. When Clubhouse Games. But I mean this. Worldwide classics. Maybe. On Nintendo Switch, June fifth. Pre-purchase begins <sighs> today. Good girl. Will the real master ninja, please stand up. What is this? Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Sprint across stages. This looks to be made ninjutsu, like by the same can. team as Platoon, is it? Or is it only inspired by? By chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. Disguise yourself. <laughs> and wield an arsenal of skills. Are you kidding me with all these games? From heady hitting hammers, to fast and flashy katanas, to tactical tricked out yo-yos. Your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. Look at it! Thrive in clans, How many times so have I said that now? In four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in so, okay. disaster? To be real, or looks great. Absolutely. When Ninjalus but as... Up on Nintendo Switch, May 27th. And hey, it's free to play too. Of course it is. Check out what you can play on Nintendo Switch. 
<sighs> so as with Splatoon, I'm not spending enough time on those games to be good at them. Which means that it may not be for me. Even though it looked great. <clears throat> Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. And get another one today because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. In this remade Dragon Ball okay, Classic, we you'll pilot the Blue Dragon through incredible landscapes. Never played the original here. And lethal battleships, using 360 degree controls and lock-on targeting. It's your I know a lot of people love this or die trying to be coming to Switch. Panzer though. Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Today. There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh my god. Trials of Mana. Okay. Fuser. The Elder Scrolls Blades. Okay. Wow. Warhammer 40k. So I. Tiger. I'm out of words. Burnout Paradise. Okay. I only own one of those. Saints Row. There's no heroes. Dem demo available now, because of course. Mr. Driller. So, I've seen the character, never played the game. Minecraft Dungeons. I don't know how into this I am. I may be. Well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. This is our last news of the day. Okay. Jonas, don't hope exactly for the latest information no. on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. I'm sorry, I'm fairly certain I don't care With anymore. Expansion Pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Galar region. It's a new adventure to embark on, with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about Part 1, the Isle of Armor. So, lay it on us. On the Isle of I don't Armor think you can come in for to pick up the game battles, again, though. Where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon Cub Fu from the Master Mustard. Through your training with Cub Mustard, Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness. There's going to be more than two fists in that tower. You may only Just let you know, one, spoiler alert. And you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn single strike style. But if you choose the Tower Still of Darkness, horrible animation. it will learn rapid strike style. Dark or water. Look at the that. The choice is yours and yours alone. Oh god. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Sinoise, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G-Max Drum Solo. Kicking Whoa. a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Wow! Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle I'm of I'm sorry if I'm negative to this. It's just too little too late. Also, 
For those of you who purchased the expansion pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. No, thank you. Starting today, during max raid battles in the wild area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Battle with other so I have sword, I have not even completed the games as of yet. I've beaten all of the gyms. That's all for today's then I grew tired of it. Mini. Thanks for watching. Totally the innovation and everything that comes now is things that really should have been in the base games. I'm sorry, it's just the truth. The direct itself though, love it. Again. Good God. So I think they call this a mini because you weren't supposed to hope for. Help me out here. Breath of the Wild 2, you weren't supposed to hope for uh, Metroid Prime 4, you weren't supposed to hope for Bayonetta. Uh, so yeah, that's probably why they called it a mini, because I feel like it was, I mean, about half an hour long, so there was a lot shown here. A lot of things I loved, uh, nothing of Nintendo's main franchises though, other than Pokemon, which only is DLC we already knew about, so... Yeah, it wasn't a huge direct in any way, but there was a lot I really enjoyed in this one. Please let me know about you guys. I want to know, do you like what you've seen here? Put it down below. What games are you interested in? What games are you interested in having me get as well? Because I, uh, I liked quite a few of them. I liked quite a few in the Nindy World Direct 2. So, uh, yeah. I need to talk to Sophie about purchasing a lot of games, I think. I guess we'll see. Uh, nonetheless, really glad this came. I wish I was better prepared so I could have watched this live instead. It goes up a little bit late now, but it's fine. I'm glad I didn't get spoiled of anything. Everything here was completely new for me, so uh, yeah. Thank you guys very much for having joined. Uh, hope you're having a great rest of your day and that you're excited for what's about to come here as well. Uh, if you're interested in what's about to come on our channel, as I said before, it would mean the world to me if you left a like, if you liked it, leave comments down below so we can get some interaction going with our videos. Uh, and also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, as long as you feel like I can give you something out of watching me, yeah, reacting to this, commenting to this, as well as uh, Let's Plays and uh, video game analysis coming up in the future as well. I just have to make sure I get a proper intro for such for the channel. Uh, so yeah, nevertheless, thank you very much for spending your time here with me. Really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Stay super and I hope to see you guys soon again. Bye.